All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. We're going to be playing some Black Ops 4 Zombies on the map 9, and this is the most important thing you can do when you spawn in on this map right off the jump. Before you even kill a zombie, cut that rope. That's going to get the challenges going, and you are going to follow the challenges to the letter. The first challenge here is get six equipment kills. That is going to be super easy to do. I've got the Wraith Fire as my equipment in this game. And it's probably one of the best pieces of equipment to have in zombies. So you just throw the Wraith Fire on the ground. Let all these noob zombies route. Damn, it's about time I get in a lobby full of noobs. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. <laughs> oh man. Oof. That's right, the skill-based matchmaking kicks in later. Alright, so there you go. We got our six kills and we get a reward and you get a heart. And all that is is an extra life. So you could go down one more time and get back up. Pretty easy. Next set of challenges is get five consecutive headshot kills. Now this is actually a little bit trickier than it seems because all these zombies be staggering around here like they're drunk and shit. So <laughs> plus with the funky ass RNG aim assist that uh, Black Ops 4 has in their game. All right, there you go. All right, pretty easy. All right, so we nailed out. We knocked out all five. We knocked out all five. So we're just going to finish out the round here. There's only a few more guys left. There you go. Get on, son. All right, so we're going to pick up the next reward we got here, which is some cash, bonus points, 500 bucks. So now the next step in the quest is kill 10 zombies with your specialist weapon. For my specialist weapon, guys, I'm going to be using the Hammer of Valhalla. The hammer is amazing, baby. It's basically like having the power of Thor. So we're going to wait for the map to populate here. And, oh my goodness, we're going to drink the Arsenal Accelerator, which is going to make my specialist charge a little bit faster. And, alright, we're going to let all these zombies gather in here. This is such a fun map, dude. This is probably the best. Ooh, another 500 points? Come on. Eee! Yo, this is probably the best zombies map for a solo zombies player. I really, really like Nine, fellas. This might be my favorite zombies map of all time. Even better than Shinonuma and Mob of the Dead. Is that crazy for me to say? I don't know. Mob of the Dead is still pretty good, though. I have not played the new mob in Black Ops 4 Zombies yet, guys. How good is it? All right. So we're going to thin this. Uh, we're going to just burn around right here while I waited for my specialist weapon to charge. And we're going to wait for the next round so I can get just a bigger batch of zombies. we got to get a bigger herd to spawn in, baby. And you guys might be wondering, why am I doing all this? Why am I doing all these challenges? Well, for the rewards, of course. Now, normally when you complete... The first set of challenges here, you get rewarded with a free pack-a-punch weapon without actually opening the pack-a-punch machine, which is a whole other quest you got to do entirely. Oh, man, charge a hammer right now. Here we go. Bring these hammers in, baby. Look at this. Look how much fun this is, man. Just smacking up all these zombies into the crowd. <laughs> get on, baby. Look at this dude. Oh, my God. I knocked that dude off the park. Barry Bond style, son. Get on. <laughs> Didn't even need no juice or nothing. Oh, get on, baby. All right, so I got my 10 out of 10 equipment kills. Ooh, pick up a little insta-kill. I'm using the Spitfire, by the way, guys. Spitfire is just such an amazing pistol. I love it. Okay, insta-kill. We're going to knife all these guys, charge our super again. And as you can see, I got the Z-Harmony. Now, most people just get this pack-a-punch weapon, then they're done. But uh-uh, you want to keep going with the challenges, guys. And the reason why you want to do this is because in Black Ops 4 Zombies, they only give you four perks to start with, but there is a way to get a fifth perk, and it's by completing these challenges. So the next challenge I have to do here is kill five tigers. Well, while I'm unlocking the Pack-a-Punch machine, when you go into the God Room, and one of the ways to, well, the only way to unlock the Pack-a-Punch machine is you have to hit the gong to summon the champion for each God Room. One of the gods just so happens to be a whole pack of tigers. So here we are in the Zeus Room, I believe, and we're going to thin the herd a little bit. Try and rank up this shotgun. Ranking up weapons in this game is a pain in the butt, man. And me using nothing but the Z Harmony all the time isn't helping either, but we're going to summon the god, the champion of the gods here in the Zeus room, and it just so happens to be the tigers that I need to kill for the next step in this quest. I'm bringing the hammers and just completely shit on all these tigers right here. And, yo, this hammer is too much fun, bro. <laughs> this hammer is absolutely amazing. All right, so we got the five zombie tiger challenge done. We're going to go collect our reward after we're done with hammer time here okay so let's go back to the altar and collect our reward and see what it is where the hell am I alright here we go make our way up these steps yeah this is a great place to train too. outside here you don't want to do it down in the temple that is a nightmare uh, this would be the perfect place to train if it wasn't for the damn fire that kept coming up from the ground man so anyway we got a uh, 
We got a max ammo right here, and the crowd threw a, another reward down onto the arena. And ooh, it's a max power. And the next challenge here is going to be get nine kills with the Brazen Bull Shield. Now, I already found the parts and created the shield already. Uh, if you guys need to watch a tutorial on how to do this, man, there's millions of them here on YouTube. You just go search it up. It's not hard. The pieces are really easy to find. And that's another thing that's great about this map 9, dude. Everything on here is just so easy to do. I have not done the final Easter egg yet, though. Uh, I think I need to do that with a team. Oh, yeah, I forgot to grab this pot. You get that pot right in the beginning when you pick up the Z Harmony Pack a Punch weapon. That's for the Acid Trap. Uh, all right, so I need to get, what, three more kills with the Brazen Bull Shield? So I just need three more zombies to come on in. There we go. Taking these zombies right out. <laughs> the shield is awesome, bro. You can upgrade the shield, too, in this game, fellas. Just found that out. All right, so I got my nine out of nine kills with the Brazen Bull. Nothing to hurt a little bit here. Got the uh, SMG here, the Spitfire. Got to pack a punch this thing, too, man. <laughs> Bring in the hammers. And, oh, my God, did I just get nine bang? There's nine bang and zombies, too? Damn. Yo, forget the Hellfire. Give me a nine bang. That's what I need, man, for equipment in this game. Make all these zombies go blind. That'd be cool, man. You could blind the shit out of them so you could just escape and run to another part of the map. Actually, the nine bang would be OP as hell in zombies, man. <laughs> I pick up double points. So the next reward here is a max power for my specialist. And okay, so the final step I have to do here for the Easter egg is stop three catalysts uh, transformations. Now, what the catalysts are, those elemental zombies you see on the map. The crowd throws another gift onto the arena floor here, and it is a fire sale. Okay. Uh, basically, the catalyst zombies, fellas, those are the zombies that transform into the fire zombies, the water zombies, the electrical zombies. All you gotta do is kill three of them while they're changing from a regular zombie into a catalyst zombie. And you're gonna see I do that right here. Throw the wraith fire down the ground, pick up my hammers again. Is there any specialist that's better than the hammers? Because this is pretty much all I use. I haven't really messed with the other specialists too much. The sword looks pretty cool. But man, these this hammer is just so OP. I mean, look at this shit. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Look, it even makes a little storm cloud that traps zombies. Smacking the hell out of them. I mean, bro, this got to be the most OP specialist in the game. If there's a better specialist than the hammer of Valhalla and zombies, drop down in the comment section. If you guys think there's anything better. So, oh, we're getting stuck there almost. All right, let's get out of the way. So I stopped the three zombie catalysts. So, just let me finish off this round here, and you guys are going to see what we get. So, it definitely pays to do all these steps, fellas. They're not that hard, unless you get the one that says you have to kill uh, a bunch of enemies with the Death of Orion, which is this map's wonder weapon, which you have to get either lucky with the box, or there's actually another Easter egg to complete that step, too. You could actually get one for free, guaranteed that you get it. And there's videos for that all over YouTube as well. I haven't made any yet. I might. I don't know. We'll see. But... Uh, no, I do not want that. So we're just going to reject it. And it looks like I have to do another step. Oh, my God. Maintain. All right, so we got to make the crowd happy for two minutes. So this is kind of a pain in the butt. Basically, you just have to kill a bunch of zombies, get a bunch of multi-kills. Don't take any damage whatsoever. And just keep the crowd happy. Keep the people happy. You keep the crowd happy, they will shower you with rewards, man. That's pretty much how this Zombies 9 map works. Now, how do you know if the crowd is happy? Just look at that green thumb. That's... Thumbs up right next to my score. The green thumb with the Super Saiyan effect. That's how you know the crowd is pleased. So, okay. I kept the crowd happy for two minutes. Getting to two minutes now. We're about five seconds away. And we got another reward thrown down onto the arena. And this time you'll see it's actually something pretty cool, fellas. It's actually something pretty cool. Check that out, man. <laughs> Look what's appearing in the altar there. Uh-oh. Damn, look at this session joiner trying to jump shot me. Get on, baby. Sit your sweaty ass down. Oh, we got some tigers behind us. Yeah, I always think of Ezekiel every time I see a zombie tiger, man. Oh, Ezekiel's tiger. R.I.P. All right, so hold square to claim your reward, and it is a fifth perk. And the perk we actually got is something that's kind of useless to me here in Zombies. Uh, I believe the name of this perk is called... What the hell is it? Death Perception. See nearby enemies through walls. Receive screen indicators when enemies approach player from off screen. It's basically like the Oriole. Uh, the or not the Oriole. It's basically the Oracle from Ghosts. 
And, you know, it's pretty cool in Ghost, but man, I could, I know where the zombies are going to be coming. They're going to be coming right at me. I don't need to go out and hunt for the zombies. What I was really hoping to get would be something like Bandolier Bandit, so I can increase my ammo stock, or maybe Mule Kick. Mule Kick would be pretty cool, even Electric Burst. Um, what are some really good perks in this game, by the way, fellas? Because pretty much all I use is Time Slip, the Equipment Cooldown Rate Increase, Mystery Box, Pack-A-Punch Weapons Appear Faster, and Greatly Reduced Trap and Fast Travel Cooldowns. Love Time Slip. I use Quick Revive mostly all the time. Dying Wish, I always use that. That is, I think, is really, really strong. And I've been using this uh, Victorious Tortoise perk a lot, too, because I always get the shield. Shields block damage from all directions when held. When a shield breaks, it will trigger a defensive explosion. That's pretty much how I roll, man. You know, every once in a while, I might swap out Victorious Turtle for the Electric Burst. But it would have been cool if that fifth perk was something a little bit more useful, like a uh, Bandolier or Mule Kick. But just playing the hand I was dealt here, fellas, and it's super easy. And as you can see... The Anywhere But Here elixir really comes in handy. Haven't messed around with the uh, elixirs you get. Look at this. You can see all the zombies coming around. It's basically the Oracle from Ghosts. So, pretty cool. They give you a fifth perk. It would be nice if I could get all of them, though. And hopefully there'll be an Easter egg that allows you to unlock all the perks. Because that would be a lot of fun. Because we don't want to be ordinary and vulnerable in zombies, do we? Hell no. We want to be as OP as possible. <laughs> anyway, guys. Black Ops for Zombies. The Map 9 is super fun. And this is an easy and fun way to get your fifth perk. Like I said, if they ask you to do multi-kills with the Death of Orion, you better get lucky with the, uh, with the box. That's that Scorpion that's got the uh, electricity flowing through it. You better get lucky with the box or just do the Easter egg that allows you to get a free Death of Orion. You can find it anywhere on YouTube. So I'm going to smoke this Blightfather here with the Brazen Bull Shield. And I hope you guys enjoyed this zombies upload, fellas. If you did, please don't forget to like and share it. All that good stuff. Have fun slaying these zombies with your five perks in your free pack-a-punch pistol. And I'll see you on the next one.